Hello everybody. I would like to recall my scientific interaction with uh, Ivo Bialinitsky-Biola. Uh, in the late 1970s, Roland Gehler had built a neutron optical setup for very cold neutrons at the Institute Lyloge Bar de ILL in Grenoble. This was constructed to put a limit on the possible hypothetical charge of the neutron and it still carries the world record. Then in uh, about 1979, must have been or just before, we discovered two papers uh, written by Ivo Bialinitsky Pirula and by Mitzielski. Uh, these papers immediately struck us as very interesting. Uh, the proposal there was to uh, uh, have a nonlinear variant, a nonlinear modification of the Schrödinger equation, with the purpose basically to limit uh, the so called strange behavior of quantum mechanics, that is, superposition, etc., uh, to microscopic distances. Uh, the equation was extremely interesting because what uh, uh, they proposed was an additional uh, self-potential uh, term, a uh, term like a potential, but proportional to the probability density uh, of, uh, of the quantum state, proportional to, to psi squared. And there was a, a constant in front, which would have been a new fundamental constant of nature. Uh, the equation had a logarithmic behavior and that was quite important because it guaranteed the separability of non-interacting subsystems, which is probably one of the most essential uh, basic uh, tenets of physical law. Uh, the uh, Schrödinger equation, the new nonlinear Schrödinger equation, had uh, self-localizing solutions, that is, wave packets beyond which there could not be any spread. Uh, uh, they were called by Pirlinitsky, Piola, and Mitzieski Gaussons. As I said, this was a very elegant idea. Then in 1980, Cliff Schall, who in 1994 won the Physics Nobel Prize for uh, Neutron Diffraction, at MIT with his group did a test of the new Schrodinger equation uh, with a, with a uh, neutron interferometer of standard thermal neutrons. In that experiment, they could limit the size of B to 10 to the minus uh, 13, 13 EV. This was an upper limit. Uh, in our experiment, we used the very cold neutron optical uh, bench, which can be seen as a long interferometer with slow neutrons, and which provides a sensitivity to alternative phenomena of the order of uh, about uh, two orders of magnitude better than the standard neutron interferometer. Uh, the phenomenon we measured precisely was the diffraction at, the, at an absorbing edge, because to test the linearity of any equation, it is best to introduce a maximum possible step. Uh, we found no effect of the predicted uh, uh, form and using our data we were able to limit uh, the uh, size of the new constant uh, proposed by Berlinitsky, Biol and Mitzielski to about 10 to the minus 15 electron volt. What is now interesting is that uh, this new limit implied uh, that a Gaussian, this 
uh, wave packet, the self wave packet of, of a quantum state would have to be at least three millimeters big. And that clearly is a macros macroscopic distance. So the implication was that there was no room left for an intermediate behavior between micro and macro physics. And I should mention now that I, I talked about that in person to uh, uh, Ivo uh, Bielinitsky Biola, and he was, you know, open enough to consider defeat, as he said it. So we were able to exclude this kind of theory. Too bad that it didn't work, because it would have been a great, great uh, solution of some some interpretation problems. Now, today we know through many, many experiments, including uh, uh, large objects, that interference simply happens and there is no limit to scale and uh, uh, you just have to accept it also at a microscopic phenomenon. Uh, the idea of Bielinski, Piotr and Mitzielski was really pioneering and we were very happy to do the experiment. I should mention that the, besides Roland Gehler, the third co-author was Tony Klein, one of the uh, uh, leading people in Newton optics at that, at that time. I would like to conclude to wish you, Ivo, a happy birthday, and to you and Sophia all the best.